Does it make sense to keep different SIDs for 2.4 GHE and 5 GHE wireless networks? My router can have different SIDs for 2.4 and 5 GHE and I'm not sure if it's better to have the same SSID or not. Initially I put the same network but I got confused when the MacBook Pro displayed me two networks with the same name, and I was not able to distinguish between them. So the next step was to configure two networks, home and home slow. I would like to know what are the pros slash cons for these configs. Note, I do have a Cisco E4200 router, configured. 5GHE, SSID home, mixed, auto 20 MHz slash 40 MHz, auto DFS. 2.4 GHE, SSID home slow, mixed, auto 20 MHz slash 40 MHz, auto. Note, iPhone 4 and HTC Desire HD do not see the 5 GHE network, only the 2.4 not sure why. MacBook Pro seems to detect both of them. If you have high quality Wi-Fi client devices, it's best to use the same SSID for both bands so your clients will automatically roam to the band that suits their needs best. If you have low quality Wi-Fi client devices, you might need to second guess their band choice decisions, so you might want to have separate SIDs. Your MacBook Pro should not have shown you two networks with the exact same name, unless you had accidentally configured two different security types for the two networks. Or maybe you thought you had configured the exact same name for both bands, but you'd accidentally put a space at the end of one of the names and didn't notice. Your iPhone 4 doesn't have a 5GHE radio, which is why it can't see your 5GHE network. I suspect the same is true of your HTC Desire HD. I recommend that you leave your 2.4 GHE network set to 20 MHz only. Using 40 MHz in 2.4 GHE doesn't leave enough room for other uses of the band, such as Bluetooth. All of Apple's incapable gear limits itself to 20 MHz operation in 2.4 GHE even if the third-party Wi-Fi app is configured to allow 40 MHz operation in 2.4 GHE, in order to leave room for Bluetooth. So your MacBook Pro is only going to use 40 MHz wide channels in 5 GHE. Most wireless stacks do not consider these networks to be different to each other, so 2.4 GHC has the same weighting as 5 GHC. If this isn't important to you, then keeping the SIDs the same will mean it will pick whichever it sees first. If you keep the SIDs different, it means that you can prioritize 5 GHC over 2.4 GHC by adding both to your Wi-Fi connections, and saying that one is better than the other. Note that 5GHC is not inherently faster than 2.4GHC. They both have the same theoretical maximums, 150 megabits per second, single radio chain, 300 megabits per second, two radio chains and two spatial streams, or 450 megabits per second, three radio chains and three spatial streams. However because the 5GHC frequency band is less crowded, there is more chance that the app can get a full 40 MHz band of radio to carry data. I think I found a solution for Androids that prioritize the 2.4 GHC Wi-Fi band over the 5 GHC band with the same SSID if you access a dual band router at home for example. If both bands have the same SSID find out which band your Android device is currently connected to using the Free Insider app. My was connected to channel 6 instead of channel 161, my desired 5 GHC channel. Move to a location where you can confirm that you are connected to the 2.4 GHC band, 
Hit the refresh button as needed on the top of Insider to update. When you verify that you are connected to the 2.4 GHC band, go back to your Wi-Fi settings. You will see your SSID twice with the top one being the 2.4 GHC connection. Select that and select forget. This is better than having to choose the 5 GHC band only setting in advanced settings as there will be many other places where you need to connect to both bands. Now I get great Wi-Fi speeds at home instead of competing against the crowded 2.4 band at home. Hope this helps. But even with all of this, one thing to bear in mind is that the client is making the decision as to which SSID it connects to. So even if you have 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz with the same SSID, once the client has connected to whatever channel it decides it wants to first, in most cases it will hold on to that SSID for dear life. Certainly Apple devices, they will hold on to an SSID until it barely has any signal at all. For Android there are a number of apps that you can install that will manage this for you, by simply selecting the strongest SSID access point. For Apple there are no apps available, so trial and error seems to be the best option.